Hey guys, back on with a new how-to video. In this one I want to show you how to download and install Recovery Flasher 150 for your custom firmware PSP. Now follow the link, download the application Recovery Flasher 150. I have mine here, the folder's ready. It is a rare file, so you need WinRare or 7-zip or something to extract the file. Once you have it extracted, make sure you have your PSP plugged in, turned on to USB mode, which I'm going to do mine. Take a second, put my USB here, plug it in. Don't want to reboot, there's a USB mode. Okay, my should pop up any second here. Here it comes. So there's mine. You want to open to view your folders so you have your PSP the root of the memory stick you want to go into PSP folder and we go back to the recovery flash so we have two windows open one for the PSP one for recovery flash. We have the game folder waiting right here. And in our other window we have recovery flash here. So open up that file. You see it's got three folders, two text. Read the readme. Always read the readme. I'll try and say that as much as I can when I remember. But for this one we're only using one piece of the application recovery flash. We're not going to use anything with Pandora or the firmware 150. So you want to take the recovery folder and put it right inside the game folder. So you see here we have recovery. Now you have two options inside the recovery folder. You can leave this one here. Now this one you can choose to leave it on in the file folder or add it to the root of the PSP memory stick. My PSP is already 5.00 M33 custom firmware so it's already on the root of the memory stick. If you are starting from a lower firmware you have those options. You can put it inside the recovery folder or you can add it to the root of your memory stick. But one, it's, once you have the recovery folder inside the memory stick, which you see mine's inside my memory stick there, and exit the windows on your computer. Close, 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 go down. see it still says USB mode. So exit USB mode. My theme is already set to original. But you want to go to theme, themes, select original. There we go. Go over to your games menu. Go to the memory card. And here you see all the games we have installed. Go down till you find 
Recovery flasher. There it is. So we select recovery I flasher. Will you. I will find you. And I will Your game boot will go off like normal. There we go. We have Recovery Flasher loaded up. We have three options here. You want to go to I Agree. Now take me to the program. And here we have more options. Let me turn off the light there so you can read it a little bit. Let's focus this. That's not bad. So target firmware, as you can see, X to cycle and change. We want it on 5.00 today. And you have all these options down here. Exit if you don't want to do it, if you're scared. And we want to choose install M33 custom firmware. So you choose your custom firmware. Now, before we go any further, make sure your PSP is charged fully. I always add things, delete things, you try and do everything with a full battery. So, we have two options, three options, sorry. Reset format settings as well. Do not reset format settings. And I changed my mind. You want to always choose reset format settings as well. Now we are installing the custom firmware. Shouldn't take too long to install the custom firmware. It's a very easy to use application. Move the PSP back a little, and you can see down below it's working down there. The writing file, it says. So yeah, we just continue to let it run, let it finish its work. It'll ask you to press any button to shut down when it's all done. Press X, it'll shut down. Once it's fully shut down, you can turn your PSP back on. And now because we reset the settings, you'll have to reset the time and date, add your your name to it or, or or whatever name you use. I'm gonna have to start a new video here. So I will be talking on both videos at the same time just so we can continue on the next one. So bear with me. And there we see press any button to shut down so like I said press any button to shut down I'm gonna close down part one so please guys continue on part two thank you very much for watching